sitting there like, where are these guys? Why aren't they live yet? We'll be right there in a few minutes, guys. Hang in there. Stay tuned in. Keep the broadcast going. Yo, Rec, what's good, man? What's happening, my G? Oh. Shit, just chilling, man. You got another back. day, another day. Another day, we back. We, we, took, uh, we took a few days off. Yeah, man, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. it's like that. Yeah, but it's all good. So, uh, you work hard. You deserve those days off. <laughs> you know well, what I'm you know, it was, Re- it was Rex's birthday and just... The, yeah. The, the, the news, yo, know, honestly, guys, the news has just been fucking slow today, you know, this week. It's been trash. Okay, so we'll, I'll get to the first thing. It's like Rich the Kid versus Soldier Boy. I'm going to tell you how he Soldier uh, Rich the Kid took to his Twitter or his like Instagram, whatever, did a little video. He's saying, yo, all these people saying that way, you know, I started that shit. Now, that could be for a lot of people, but <clears throat> Soldier Boy just put an interview out today talking about, you know, kept saying that way, that way, that way in the Vlad interview. And he didn't look so good in that Vlad interview, let's be honest. Yeah, I don't know if you saw a little <laughs> bit of it. The jaw looked a little Bobby Brownish. <laughs> it did. I'm just being honest. Yo, yo, be yeah, honest. I wasn't, yo, you <laughs> caught me on guard with that one. Yeah, I know I did. I know I did. I know I did. Since, since Soulja Boy got that Bobby Brown jaw. <laughs> he, needs to get off the, he needs to get off the lean, bro. That's it. I, I, I'm all for Soulja Boy. I like Soulja Boy, but damn, that That's lean is killing him. Huh? That, my night. I ain't gonna front. that lean's killing him, bro. Soulja Boy got that Bobby Brown jaw. It's not Woo! looking good. And he kept dozing off during the interview. It was like, yo, why'd you even do the interview, man? That wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look. There wasn't a good yeah. look. This JT talking. Yeah, I'm just like, I like Soulja Boy, you know what I mean? But it's just like, yo, that shit was whack. You know what I mean? Like, dr- yo, guys, all you guys, like, fuck with the Soldier Boy thing. Like, a lot of rappers are on this codeine shit, and that shit ain't cool, man. That's like liquid hair on. Seriously. No drugs is cool, man. Nah, man. I mean, weed's okay. I, I have no problem with someone doing weed. Yeah, you know? weed is okay, but you don't need drugs, man. You don't need liquor or drugs, truthfully. Like, you know, every once in a while, you may want something to stimulate you but don't yeah. fuck with that hard shit that coke dope and lean and Codeine, all that other all shit, that cr- shit is, is crazy bro it's like ah uh, man it's just spooky it's out just, here man it's spooky man and then and now soldier boy's got his own members his own sodmg members coming against him paul allen who's been an sodmg member for a while he's mm. coming out saying Yo, Soldier Boy had us living in somebody else's house when he got evicted from his downtown condo in L.A. Uh, for like two, three years. There were roaches in the crib. Another family oh, living shit. in. He said he pulled a gun on Nia Riley with a kid in the room and just a bunch of shit. And then Killer J. Remember the guy that got shot on his birthday a few days ago, like a few months ago? Yeah. That kid came out and said Soldier Boy's a fraud and that Soldier Boy doesn't like Gucci Man anymore because... He doesn't do drugs and he's lame now. He's not the OG anymore. And like, oh, wow. Just coming, talking crazy. Like, Soldier Boy ain't real. Soldier Boy don't got no money. He kept saying a bunch of shit, man. And I was like, damn. So, it's not mm. looking good over there, man. I think Soldier Boy should shut it down. Shut it down for 30 days. Everybody will forget about <laughs> it. Just everybody will forget. Yeah, you sound disappointing. I just like. The kid, 10 years in the game, bro, made millions of dollars, man. And, like, you're going to self-destruct? Mm. Ugh. It's whack, mm. man. So what what else is going on out um, here? We got that new uh, Buy Back the Block with uh, with uh, uh, Rick Ross. Rick two Ross. chains, Gucci <laughs> Mane. That's just kind of hot. Smoking. Kind of hot Smoking. right there. They, got, they all got good verses on there. They You could tell. Buy they, Back the Block. They, they did oh, that in the studio fuck. together. You could tell they did that shit in the studio together. They had to, because that shit yeah. was hot. I ain't gonna front you, man. Two chains set that thing on right. What was your favorite bars from it? Because you really liked that. I mean, that, that shit when he said, you talking trash, throw that shit in the landfill. Because like, you know that's where they throw the trash at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, yeah. A, that's an okay bar. He said yeah, he kept, not, kept talking about property, property. Kept talking about buying property. Yeah, yeah, he, and then he said something about buying a crib next to Kobe's. Oh, he, 
I remember one bar from Gucci Mane. He said, I'm thinking about open a bu- 10 Chick-fil-A's. Like, yo, dude, Chick-fil-A ain't letting you in. Chick-fil-A's oh. like the most... They're the most, like, they vet you, right? You got to be religious, a family man, can never go to jail. They they don't just let you in a Chick-fil-A franchise. It's hard. Mm. You got to be a church-going guy. Perfect. Mm. So that's, uh, but, you know, I like the whole, I, I knew what he was playing off. He was playing off of Rick Ross getting all them wing stops, them checkers. And I think he's pizza getting a Pizza Hut, Hut now. Rick Ross over there. Woo! Looking like. The biggest ball. He's setting right up now. for past yeah. rap. He's he's not stupid. He knows the rap shit. Mm. Got a few more years. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my last years in rap as promotion for my new businesses. Very mm. smart. Salute he's thinking long term. Not many people have a a, con- a contingency plan to get the fuck out. And mm. He's doing that. So salute to Ross. Speaking about Rick Ross trying to smash Martha Stewart. What you thinking, buddy? That was cringeworthy, I man. I watched that video. It was on the site, but, yo, what, what was going on with that, man? He was, like, getting up behind her, whispering in her ear, massaging her, and just feeding her, and looking in her uh, eye, like, like trying to seduce her. It was creepy. But Ross probably going for that cash, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? but she's married. And she's I mean, got a lot of money. You got to think. He probably think he can... You know, romance. I think he just did it to like, he must have been high with Snoop on there, and he's like, but "Yo, again, for, huh? he probably did it, you know, for the pub. For controversy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew that was gonna. People were gonna yeah. talk about that. I Plus, don't like that show with Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg at all. I think it's trash. But that's mm. just me. I'm not trying to be a hater. I mean, you know, everyone likes a good I meal. See. They're just trying to make something work that's not. And then they got a DJ. It's too. It's too polished. If it was less polished, I think it would be doper. They're trying yeah. to make it too much into like a party, like a wow and out type of cooking show. Mm. Eh. Should have kept it more just straight up. I think it would have been better if Snoop Dogg didn't combine the hip hop element so much into, mm. and just went into the Martha Stewart element. That would have been even more cool to me. That's yeah. just me, but... They tried to set up a stage and everything. It was just too much, you know. Um. Then we got Kanye West saying he's for Trump, and yeah, that was a that was a crazy move because he knows most of his audience is probably liberal, right? You know, that I dude don't surprise me. That that didn't surprise me either. I mean, everyone's him and Paris Hilton are using that shock value to kind of bring some more attention to themselves right now. And Kanye knew that would piss people off. And, you know, this is why you stay away from politics. You see how people will just send you to the grave over Mm -hmm. politics. They get real emotional. I I wouldn't be surprised if they start burning Yeezys now, you know? Like, you know, it's just crazy, you know? Like, they take that politics shit way too far. That's why I don't talk about shit with politics. Shit get I just stay man. neutral, man. Fuck all the bullshit, man. I ain't trying to get involved with none of that shit. Because that shit's just too spooky for me. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know enough about politics to talk politics. Most people don't. In- don't, And most people can't admit that they don't know enough about politics to even discuss politics, you know? Yeah. So, you know, just you know so fuck. fucking crazy. I had the mic way on the other side. Did you hear me good? It was okay. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. Oh shit! So <laughs> that good. was way better. Uh, yeah, what do you think about that whole Kanye for Trump and you know? I mean, he's speaking his mind. I mean, we have the right to vote for who we want. I don't to. even know what to think, man. Like, I just think people just he's a say troll, shit. Man. Yeah, he's trolling. He's trolling. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. We know he's trolling. You know, he's a fucking one of the biggest he, trolls. He is a troll. He's a troll doll. He's, he's a, a troll doll. <laughs> Burped right there. <laughs> you know, but he's someone a weirdo. said if he said if if Trump was saying something about Armenians, oh, he would have been going crazy. Because mm. you know his girl's Armenian. What the fuck is that? Armenian? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> all I know is all I know is they run L.A. 
Yeah, I'm, yo. Armenians run LA. I know that. I, you don't want to. They might get you killed. <laughs> you don't want to fuck. With, they own all the car places in LA. The Armenians. Mm. It's kind of spooky. I hear that. What else? What else is going on out here? Um, let's go just see what else is like off the off the cuff is is going on. We got Mayweather says he will not fight again because they were here. They were talking about maybe maybe him doing a rematch. How are we but, gonna um, get him to yeah. an even fifty? How are we gonna get him to an even fifty and L? Mayweather, he don't need to be fifty and L. I, he doesn't need to, but I, I like even numbers. I wonder if he's st- a stick or for even numbers. Nice. Even numbers, good. Forty nine and zero is great. Oh, a tribe called Quest did one hundred twenty thousand albums the first week. Salute to them. Yeah, album. that's good. that's amazing. And it's a banging. You gotta applaud that. Yeah. It's a legendary group. Hip hop. We got Twenty One Savage putting cough syrup on his waffles. That's some. Whoa. See? This is why the kids is lost. Kids is lost today. Like, 21, don't do it, buddy. If they following him, and they see that, and it's like, yeah. it's, it's crazy, man. It's 21 crazy. is now a confirmed fag. I mean, Mark Anthony, I'm sorry. Not him. Uh, Mark Anthony is now a confirmed fag. I guess he's on a plane kissing a man. Who, the um, dude that owned the um, Mavericks? No, Mark Anthony. Not Mark Cuban. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we needed a good laugh. That was a good Yo, one. Like, Yo, like this is my new too. swag for the winter. You know, it's winter time. I'm just, I'm just sweatsuits now because I'm lazy. Yo, Mark um, Cuban like a fag too, though. I'm going to keep it a stat. He's probably taking some dick. <laughs> 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 College days, they went crazy. I yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was the spookiest thing about going to college. Those kids like do piggyback rides and shit. It's like real spooky in college. Like guys be getting in bed with each. It's very spooky in college. Guys be taking showers with each. other. It's very weird, bro. Oh man. The, the weirdest thing is when I went to college. The first thing I saw, when I went to the shower. Uh, it was even spookier in boarding school, but when I went to fucking college, someone took a shit in the shower, bro. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I said, get the fuck out of here. There was a shit just in there. It's crazy. Oh, shit. And the, the bathrooms were co-ed in college. Like, girls would be in there, too. Yeah, how you do that? They just walk in, bro. Hold on, somebody took a shit in the shower and left it there? Crazy, day? bro. Um, I just was like, whoa. You know, the spookiest <laughs> year? Well, I yeah, had... Hold on. But, uh, so, let, let's do this. So when you walked in the, the bathroom, okay, yeah, it this, smelled it well? Okay, so I get in. It smelled well? Nah, it didn't really smell crazy. So I, I shut the thing, and there's like, a, there's like a moat that goes along the wall for the drain. And I just saw a shit just go by. It was disgusting. Third. I was like, oh, man. Yo, I used, to piss in my, I used to piss in my sink just to not fucking have to go to the bathroom sometimes. Yo, that's just spooky shit, literally, right there. Yeah, but no, the spookiest oh. thing is my first year at boarding school when I got kicked out of school, right? I had to go to boarding school, like a reform school, like military shit. And, uh... We had to take a shower with three other men. It was gross, bro. So you have to get in there. I would be in there with my swimming trunks on. Like, this shit is gay. You know what I mean? So I'm in there, and they're looking at me like, why do you have swimming trunks on? I was like, because this shit is mad homo. I can't believe you guys are in here. Like, <laughs> And you have to ask the guy down there, because all the nozzles were on one wall. Yo, can you turn my shit up, bro? Turn it down a little bit? Like, that shit was mad gay. Dang. I used to get up real early just to take a shower. After a while. That's crazy. You was in boarding school. The first year was a mad homo, bro. Going honest. through it. So we got Rollo did some interview on Vlad, and it was like, yo, dude, he was talking too much information, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. He was mm. on there talking about how many people he shot, how much money he made off of heroin. And then they were, he was like, yo, I made a million dollars off of heroin. Like, like, how recently? And he was like, like a year ago. Yo, dude, uh, dude. 
You're still talking about that shit? Like, dude, yeah. like, I, like sh- when Shorty Lowe would talk about his stories, he had already served time for the stuff he was talking about, so it was cool to talk about. Mm-hmm. You don't talk about shit you didn't serve time for. Now, I know Rollo has been to jail, right, for other stuff. Whatever. This shit crazy. But why are you talking on Vlad TV like that? Like, yo, you don't need to do mm. that. We believe you, bro. Mm. We already believe These you. These dudes get comfortable on that, that Vlad couch. I, 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 yeah, that like that was just too... He was ta- He that was like... Crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. He was like telling on himself the whole interview. I didn't get it. And we know Rallo. Rallo is official, for sure, in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Like, people mm. vouch for that. But... Yo, dude, don't don't talk too much on that black couch, you know? Like, even Shorty Lowe wouldn't say certain stuff. Even stuff that we went to jail for. Mm-hmm. Um, ja Rule's Foot Locker, that was funny. 50 Cent yeah, chimed in. Yeah, that was in. funny. 50 Cent chimed in and said, oh, he's a, uh, he's a, uh, he's an Uber driver now? <laughs> F- oh, you, luck. he said that? Yeah. Mm. That was a good, I liked how Ja Rule could make fun of himself and his down yeah. ball. Yo, I told you, Ja Rule, I, all the rappers I met, he's definitely, like, like my favorite person. Like, yeah. he's, yeah, I like Ja Rule a lot. Good dude, man. Real good dude. Okay. You know? Okay. And then we got, uh, we got, uh, the Ludacris opened a, finally opened the chicken and beer restaurant mm. in Atlanta Airport. Terminal oh, wow. 5, I think. Or six, five or six. That's big because there's a lot of traffic. Said he opened five of them. No, no, either terminal five or six. Oh, okay. Terminal That's where five. it's at. I don't know if you ever been through the Atlanta airport. It's busiest. Yeah, airport. I've been. I've been through there. You know, I had to go get my kids and. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's one of the, the biggest busiest, airports in the world. It's the, it's the busiest airport in the world. Right? Not just the busiest, but big. Oh yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It doesn't even yeah. feel that big when you're in it, but it's really big. That shit's big. No, because you got to take a fucking... Train. A train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is crazy. But don't you got to... You got to take a train in a lot of airports, like Dallas. Yeah, but... Atlanta? Chicago, you got to, like... You should be able to have to take a train. It's yeah, I was big. in Chicago, too. That's That shit is big. Like, too much walking. You need a train. Yeah, man. Um. Then we got, uh... I don't know who Piss Khalifa is. Someone's talking about that. Uh, Joe, oh, did you see Joe Budden raiding rappers from Skelly? Yeah. Rapper? He said uh, Uzi, when they said little Uzi verse lyrics, he said it was trash. Of course, I he had a group like that too, but um, you know, I'm I'm still going to do it, similar to what you know the concept they was doing with rape the balls or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a good one. You should run mm. with that loop. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, I'm, my loop is still a little different. I'm going to do it. Okay, who's a bigger movement, Dipset or G-Unit? Who had the Woo! I mean, movement, Dipset. You know why? Yeah, I would say locally, like for, for, for here, Dipset. Worldwide, G-Unit. G-Unit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it like that. Because Dipset, they had a lot of rappers all repping, and they had like a... It just felt... Dope. I don't know. You know, it was more authentic yeah, than it had it. Yeah. But G Unit, that wave was crazy it, as well. It was like, a, yeah, it was like they made more money at G Unit, but a dip set, it was like more of a crew, like a, mm-hmm. like a, like a gang almost. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it was. When you saw a camera rolling through New York in that pink range, that shit was like official. Yeah. Nah, that shit was so hard. Bad. Like when I saw it, I was like, damn, there goes Cam. Just driving by in the pink range. Normal. What? Rappers nowadays, they gotta have fucking. Oh, yeah, I like Cam. Cam too. Like, Cam, that's my guy, man. Cam is funny. Yeah, I met shit. Cam in the Bronx. Yeah. And um, I just was like saluting him. He was in the pink range. Yeah. And, you know, I guess he was on the phone. And I was coming from the CD spot. You know, I was yeah. getting, you know, CDs are uh, replicated and duplicated. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, get in the truck like that. He was on the phone. I'm like, all right, I got in. <laughs> Yo, that, that shit was wild. He jury out 
all his Jews on. Didn't Don't even look know you. This is a back block in the Bronx now. And didn't even know you at the time. You didn't know me. I could have had that thing on me and just made him a, a, a victim. But and then what did he say to you? Nah, we kicked it. He like, yo, what you doing up here? I'm like, yo, I'm getting um some mixtapes done, you know, on my DJs, you know, like, you know. Oh, so he heart. recognized you at least, right? Nah, he just saw, you know, I guess, you know, that 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 slim case box, everybody know what it is. You know, them the the uh the 200 slim case box. It's oh. a rectangle box about this this big. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. With all the slim jewel cases. Yeah, yeah, for CDs. Mm-hmm. So I had like three or four of them in my hand, you know, and he, um, I was going back to my car. Yeah. And I was just kind of like saluting him. And he was like, yo, get in the truck. And we kicked it for like a half an hour. Word? Like, yo, what you doing up here, homie? He asking me. I'm like, I'm getting, um, you know, mixtapes from my DJs. You know, I, I, I put DJs under my brand and get their mixtapes out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm and he was like, yo, I never heard an artist putting out DJs. It's usually the other way around. Yeah. He gave me a drop and all that. We was just kicking it, man. Like, yo, Cam, salute, man. I'll never forget that. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. The only time I ever met Cam was at the old boy video, and I was so new then. Mm. Even I'm all the Cam. times, all, to, all the times I worked with Jewels and Jim, never met Cam. Mm. After that, I saw him in traffic one time. I gave him like that, and he, you know, like that. He was cool like that, you know, but never. Yeah. Mm. Now I met him. Um, I had his number and all. I just never called him. He was a like... dick to me at the old boy video. I ain't gonna lie. Oh what? But he deserved to be a dick to me at the old boy video. I was just a little white boy from college. Uh, Spellman, he was like, oh, you know, and my questions were trash. My questions were trash, of course. Ah, questions was crazy. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just trying to get it in. I had a camera and a mic and but a you know TV what? show. You had ambition and drive. Yeah, so I said, I'll figure this shit out. And I jumped right into the shark tank. <laughs> But Joe, on that note, man, it's Friday night. Yeah, let's hit I the gotta room. Smooth, I gotta make yeah, let's hit shot. the room and just say, yo, peace to the room, zohiphop.com. Lucky Luciano, Yoski the Great, looking for the truth, didn't see you in there, but salute to you. Salute to Julio R., Tharson J., Luke Key, Zachary, Raphael Little, LP uh-huh. Crooks, Kill a Fuse Vibe Music, uh, Yoski the Great, um, Luke Keys, what up? Um, so who else you know that's usually in here? All right, I see looking for the truth. Mob Sulo. MG, Sun God in there. 45 um, Savage. Uh, info here. Mike Kemp. Alton Moore in there. Um, I don't see him, but he might pop up. Quentin Lynch, what up? Alton Moore's in here, the second. Yeah. <laughs> He's the second now. Just so Max, was, what's good? Name. Uh, Zachary, Lamont Antoine, Bang of the Great, Jesus Torres, Lucky Luciano, Justo mm-hmm. Max, uh, Zachary S. Uh, we might, if something pops off over the weekend, we'll see. Luke Keys, what up? Real 23 LaFlair, Zachary Ooh, S. Luke Keys. Um, some, they said, where's Henny Rack at? Hell, Holiday Styles. Yeah, Henny Rack definitely might do that tomorrow, man. Literally, uh, Real 23 LaFlair, info here, kept it live for Friday. Yeah, sorry for the past two days. We had to get some shit together. Things changed. 12, Amir G, Royal Tay Bands. Uh, Yo, salute to everybody, man. A Deadly Wish. A Deadly Lamar Wish. Antoine, General, Jesus, Dijon, Fafan, or whatever. Oh, uh, Is French a free agent officially now? He came out and admitted it. I don't know. He dropped that um, MC4 on that piff and all that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, we know he is a free agent, but I wonder if he's... <laughs> he just has to admit it. He's still getting money. So oh, no doubt. French yeah. still getting his bread. It's just I want to see him admit, you know? You know, French ain't going to admit that. That's one thing about him. He's smart. He's smart enough he's not to admit guy. that. He did. Come on. He's always going to make money. Mid five six eight three. Okay, we out of here, guys. We love you we guys. Thanks Dayton, for coming. Uh, thanks for coming to LP Crooks. Shout out to you guys, and we are out.